driving Ivan here and the Lexus ES250 has actually been around since the late 80s. It was the original sort of entry-level car way back in the day when Lexus was launched. And now they have it again. It's an entry-level four-cylinder, but very luxurious ES. Will I be impressed? Let's find out. Well, in terms of its looks, it looks like uh, pretty much every sedan out there these days. Lots of character lines on the side and uh, very swoopy, very modern. The wheels look great, alloy wheels. You get sort of controversial when you sneak up to the front here. It's Lexus's bow tie grille, which they've had around for a while, but it's uh, really, really getting large, like the uh, crazy BMW grills. It, it seems like all the manufacturers are trying to outdo themselves. But with this sort of vent here and the nice swoopy headlights coming in, it actually rounds out very well and I actually enjoy the shape. It's not too over the top and uh, I think that's important for Lexus. They don't want something that's too garish and uh, too gouty. And, uh, so I think this one does a good job of being modern giving you all the airflow you need, yet still retaining a cool, innovative shape. And out back, form follows function too. You do have this spoiler back here for a little bit of sportiness. You even get a sport mode. More on that when I drive it later. But uh, yeah, all in all, it's a pleasing, tasteful shape that looks sporty and luxurious, but not too over the top all at the same time. Inside, it's all standard Lexus to what you are basically used to. You still have your mouse control here, and you can adjust the haptic feedback and things like that. But now you have, yes, still a large infotainment screen, but it's now, very cool, a touch screen. So there you go. Turn it off right now, but uh, you get a large infotainment screen black with some silver accents and the nice white stitching that carries across the dash and then uh, onto the gauge cluster here you've got a menu on the left hand side that you can control here and that can give you access to actually turning off those annoying sounds that you get with the parking sensors and adjusting some more driver settings your sport button is right here and your eco setting right there, parking sensors and emergency brake down there, standard window controls, power locks and mirrors outside right here, three settings for your seat for memory and lighting settings down here as well as the ability to pop the trunk and your gas cap right here. Controls for your heated and ventilated seats cubby storage down here. You can even put a CD in there. Old school. Nice, right? And uh, open this up right here. And look, you can actually charge your phone there. And you've got some deeper storage here, which is nicely being used now. And a cubby hole here also. And your standard automatic shifter there. Glove box, straightforward, plenty of room to fit some napkins and your uh, manuals in there as well. But really the big news is that touchscreen and you can go ahead and control it here too, of course. Destination, you can adjust pretty much everything you want there. I like to use the back menu button and get to where you're going there, but you can get into some of your apps and sync your phone up. And of course, down here, if you want to hook your phone up, USB and also a stereo jack as well. So that's kind of nice. Standard push button start here. And on the right side of the steering wheel, you have controls for your adaptive cruise control and your lane keep assist too. So lots of comfort and luxury built in to this new Lexus ES250 interior now with a touch screen so there you go lots of luxury modern conveniences heated and cooled seats adjustability lumbar support all with nice materials and uh, a great luxurious environment to be driving in and out back you get your own vents 
and you get a real plug plus two USB inputs back here for charging, map holders here, paper, and then seating for three across. And if you want to get to your cup holders, well, they're right here. But the seats actually don't collapse in this one. So in that case, there is no pass-through, but uh, there is a pass-through just for skis, but they do not fold down. But still, you get a very large trunk here. I believe it's 13.9 cubic feet all in all with your Lexus first aid kit as well. And powering this 2022 Lexus ES250, which is all-wheel drive, is a two and a half liter four-cylinder making 203 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. That's good for a zero to 60 time of 8.8 .8 seconds, 28 miles per gallon overall, 25 in the city and 34 on the highway. Now the seventh generation of the Lexus ES came out in 2019 and what's new right now? Well, there's lots new. Again, you have the touchscreen, which is now a touchscreen, move closer to you and that's a huge upgrade. You also have different headlights and uh, some upgrades now on the smart driving. Your lane keep assist and your smart cruise control, it'll automatically stop you. It, warns you of cross traffic and it's just a great safe vehicle all around while basically combining luxury and comfort with let's face it not too much speed 0 to 60 and 8 8 but uh, if you want more sportiness go for the F Sport there's some upgrades there so switching up into sport mode just turn that up you can also shift it manually down here put it in sport and or of course you can use the paddle shifter so we're in first gear and we can hear that two and a half liter engine revving and it's going to shift automatically for you but uh, if you want you can then downshift there we go back into fourth with a little bit of a nice little rev there just to hear the sound of the engine but again zero to 60 in 8.8 .8 seconds you're not getting this because it's a speed demon but just know that it's got plenty enough power and a decent engine tone as well if you do want to have a little fun on the back roads eco mode is of course what you want with uh, gas at almost five dollars these days just keep it at eco and it gives you a little less throttle response but overall better fuel economy if that's what you want if you don't Put it back down to normal and you'll be in normal mode with the best combination of both acceleration and fuel economy, depending on your driving style. Through the eight speed automatic transmission. Directional reverse camera and you can turn off the sensors if you want. It will beep and uh, warn you. It'll even shake the steering wheel a bit if you like it to. So great safety built into your Lexus ES250 here. But if you want the Sport model, you're gonna get the F Sport. And there's basically the base, there's the F Sport, and then there's the luxury and the ultra luxury, all ranging between $41,000 and $51,000. So what you're getting is a very affordable Lexus here in this case. And I think Lexus's bread and butter is basically the buyer that definitely wants luxury, but they don't wanna to be too opulent or too showy. And, uh, you know, it's not like one of the German manufacturers that tend to be a bit more showy, a bit more look at me. Certainly with Lexus's bow tie grill and their modern shape, they tend to blend in a bit. I think all the grills have gotten over the top a bit, but Lexus's still has some good taste about it. It's not overly big and not overly ostentatious. And I think that's what Lexus buyers want. You want something that you enjoy driving this luxurious, but you don't want to be boastful and you don't want to pay a heck of a lot of money for it. And for those that don't care about the three and a half liter quicker six cylinder, well, this is definitely the one you want. So basically in the luxury world of your Infinities and your Acuras, and in this case, your Lexuses, I think the ES250 does a great job of getting perhaps new buyers, to come to Lexus at a $40,000 price point, and they will see that Lexuses are very safe automobiles. Of course, 
based on Toyotas, their higher end luxury division. And I think you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck at that price mark, even if you have to go up to $50,000. This Lexus ES250 is going to be plenty quick for most people and have all the tech and luxury and comfort that you need. So there you have it. The Lexus ES250 plus all-wheel drive capability for areas with bad weather. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Smash that like button. The Real Driving Ivan on TikTok. And uh, just search Driving Ivan in any car on YouTube and you'll find my car review. Check out my disc golf videos. Check out my literal video for Chris Isaac's Wicked Game. And once again, thanks for watching. I'm Driving Ivan.